Hello to everyone. Thank you for watching my videos because soon I will have 1.5 million views. And then I will buy myself a portable fireplace for Christmas. <laughs> okay, now I want to live off the fruits of my labors. So I made some chamomile tea and mine is getting kind of cold so I want to warm it up. Okay, so how was I living off the fruits of my labors? Well, I'll show you. i got to be careful. I went to Grocery Outlet, and this is 32 pieces of salami. All salami is not created equal. This is good salami. I bought them for three, 47 each. They were marked way down. And uh, I'm gonna make Henzo's grandfather's salami sandwich. So it occurred to me, instead of buying cheap food, find high quality food marked down. Your food is gonna be better. Uh, what happens is these kind of foods expire, but they sell them just before they expire. So you just slip them in the freezer and then take them out and eat them, you know, as, as you need to. And this is a pretty flat package, so I can just freeze them flat. 32, uh, 32 pieces of, of salami. And this is going to make a really yummy salami sandwich. Yummy, yummy. This is ranch dressing. You guys got to try this. If you haven't tried it yet, you got to try it. Red salami and ranch dressing. And don't say, oh, that doesn't sound good. Really, we'll try it. Look at this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, now, also they had good cheese for $2. So, you know, if you buy your good cheese and your good lunch meat marked down, you're going to have better quality. I already ate one piece of salami and one piece of cheese. This is good. Uh, this one was $2. The other ones I bought were $1.99. So I'm making a double-decker sandwich. I'd say the best way to, um, to secure markdown food is just uh, like uh, drop into the grocery stores every day or two and check out the meat and check out the, the cheese and then get your cheese and your meat marked down. Okay, so I brought, I also bought this bread at Grocery Outlet for 69 cents. I'm still eating it. I bought the salami, I bought the cheese, and then I bought this tasty little, this is a tasty little, a tasty, tasty little um, pumpkin pie cake, ow, cake, uh, well, bar mix. I bought it at Grocery Outlet. This is a yummy little cake. Forgot to light my candle. Uh, one of the things I'll be shopping for is candles with long lives. Not just because I pray for my, my followers, which I do. And if you guys have extra prayers, pray for everyone uh, who might be over in the Gulf region. God forbid. Hopefully only the drones are over there. <laughs> and uh, pray for all the people in the floods. And if you're in any area that's likely to be flooded, make sure you have an evacuation plan. Just have a plan. The plan would be pack your food, pack some water, pack some cash, Pack a weapon and keep your car full of uh, gas 
and it seems like the floods are flooding during the middle of the night so you have to be very vigilant watching that you don't get uh, you know if a flash flood comes and if the power goes out how are you going to drive out of there so okay so if you will all pray for all the people who live in the flooded regions I think that'd be good and if you do live in those regions it's better to be safe than sorry God bless you all